and it, it's, it's sometimes people think that you know there's no way to overcome a spirit like that it's just some people are just no good this young man cast sin off and he got serious about God filled him with the Holy Ghost today he's one of my assistants he's strong not just physically but spiritually he teaches Bible studies we baptized four people last week that he taught Bible study to hallelujah and 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 he, when you when he looks at you he looks you right in the eye there's confidence there's authority he has sin underneath his feet and and he is growing into the ministry you, and it's so exciting to watch it because he broke those chains as a young man he broke those chains by the power of the name of Jesus aren't you happy to hear these kind of reports don't you love hearing this? Don't you love hearing that there are young people that are not caving in to the pressures of this world and the environment of this world and media is pushing that all young people are headed the downward spiral to their destruction? Hmm. Aren't you glad to hear about young people like this that yes, they turned it around. They changed it through the power of the Lord Jesus That's right. Christ. That's right. Talk about those young people. I like that. We have some young ladies. Um, <laughs> I call them my daughters, although they're from all kind of different races. Um, they, they, they were taught at an early age that they, they had to get involved with seduction and with sin to, to attract a young man. And they came from all kind of broken homes, and they didn't have any kind of authoritative influence in their life. They came in, they learned a different way. We gave Bible study. They received the Holy Ghost. And God changed their natures. We're, uh, this month, we've had two weddings of two young ladies who came out of sin, and they married Holy Ghost young men that love them, that care for them. They, they threw away peer pressure. They threw away everything that sin says you have to do. And I love them to death because just, they just have a radiance about them. They, God gave them good jobs. God, they, their, their future is so bright that I'm excited just sitting here talking about it. And I know it's only going to get better. God continues to work on them. And with the youth, he literally pulls them out of peer pressure, pulls them out of rebellion, pulls them out of drug use and the party atmosphere, and gives them a solidity that they could not have without Jesus. Brother Nathan, I want you to talk to this camera because I want you to speak to some young people that might be, no, they probably are, watching. They say, oh yeah, that sounds good for somebody else, but what about me? I want you to talk to them. I want you to just let the Holy Ghost focus in. Holy Ghost, focus in right now on this young person that is needy and you're thinking it sounds good for everybody but what about me brother Nathan's going to speak to you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah I want you to know whether you're a young man or a young lady that there is no power of sin that can hold you if you'll make up your mind to run towards Jesus Christ there are young people that have gotten sick of the lifestyle that's thrown at them through uh, movies or, or, or music videos and, and a lifestyle that is filled with rebellion and anger and, and pride, um, there is another way in the Holy Ghost. Yes. And, and I don't care where you are, you can cast that off by the power of that Holy Ghost and by the name of Jesus. I don't say that as one who has just read it in a book or heard it from somewhere. I've seen it too many times to not know that it's true. I'm a living testimony that it happens. Others that I know are a living testimony of that. Young men that throw off lust, they're able to control their mind and their imagination rather than having their imagination control them. Young ladies who realize that they're not some kind of a sex object, but they are a priceless vessel in the eyes of God, and God has a plan and He has a vision for them and, and wants to raise them up out from where they are and do something holy and good and decent in their lives. God will do that for you if you'll step out on faith. So tell that young lady, Brother Nathan, to not settle for the loser oh, God that's help. abusive and, and, and mistreats her and disrespects her, mm. but get somebody that talk to her. I wish you could hear my words right now. You do not have to stay in a relationship where you're being put down. You don't have to feel like you're worth nothing. You don't have to feel like that, that this is it and this is all I'll ever be. You can break those chains. I, if you could hear my words, don't allow the devil to run your life.
and trap you in some kind of a financially Hello. dependent situation or, or make you feel that, that there's no other way. God has done it countless times. It, it's not always just an easy road because there are, there are decisions that have been made that you have to undo. But if you make up your mind, God will baptize you with His Spirit. You can, you can be buried in His name and you can change your nature and God will make a way. He will make a way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a praise. Oh, you ought to say hallelujah right now. Hallelujah. You ever said hallelujah? That's the highest praise you can give the Lord. You hear all these Christians saying hallelujah. What are they saying? That's the highest word of praise in our language and any other language that you can give the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just before we go to the Lord in prayer, I want to remind you about the meeting called Higher Fences at Christ Church. Convenient location. We're right where 45 and Beltway 8 intersect. Right, convenient location. You can get there anywhere, from, from anywhere in the city. And the services are tonight, tomorrow, all day from 10 until 3, from Sunday morning, 11, and Sunday evening at 6.30. You ought to join us on higher fences. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to take your needs that you have called in. Oh, Here's one that desires to feel God's love, Brother Nathan. Here's one that wants prayer for their marriage. Prayer for their marriage. You're hearing it. You're hearing it. Let's go to the Lord in prayer, Brother Nathan. Lay hands on it right now. And let's take these needs to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God of heaven, we love you this day, dear God. You're able to look down in every situation. And you're able to move and meet each need. Lord, you are a prayer answerer. You are a provider and a way maker. And by the power of the name of Jesus and by the authority of the word of God, I pray that you move in these situations. You know them, dear God. You know their names. You know their addresses. I'm asking, dear God, that you move on their behalf. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. 